we're preparing women from the grassroots. We bring them, we do lots of workshop and uh, capacity buildings. And we have now, we're preparing women for one day. We can have them involved in the political life because they can just simply say, oh, you don't have enough 30% women qualified to take a political role. We're going to tell them, excuse me, we have a list of hundreds of women. They are ready. This is what we're doing. Every month we go to the border. We go to Jordan, Lebanon, and, and uh, Turkey. We're training the women to take more political role in the future of Syria. Before the revolution, women were more uh, window dressing. We say that we have a woman ambassador, women ministers, where women were involved, like my mother was a professor at university, we've been involved, but we were window dressing. We didn't really have a say. Today, so impressed and so proud that women are not only numbers, they are really doing the good work in each organization, in each civil society, everywhere they have impact. Because they decided we're not going to be window dressing. We want to walk the talk and we want to do something and we're going to build it together. This is the difference I see. Post-conflict in Syria and the women in Syria, they're going to have the biggest role for construction Syria. And we always look at to the German women, how they build it there. They built Germany after the Second War, and this is our inspirations, and we know that women can do it. And uh, we always, so now in our programs, we have lots of workshops, we're doing it on the ground with many women and uh, from the refugee camps, from the, uh, we bring them from Syria, from the IDP camp, and we talk about their roles, how they're going to maintain a peaceful Syria, democratic Syria, and civil and uh, the, to empower them and make them shine and making better for their communities. And what I see now, we lost so many men in this war. So women are taking responsibilities. They're working to bring bread to the table. They're making their own bread. They're raising the children. They're educating the children. And every time we teach the woman something, she goes back and teach her to her children, to her community. So for us, all of us, women, is the hope for Syria. They are the hope. Because we won't have peace without women to be involved.